how to get Forge in Minecraft 1.19.2. In this video, we're going to go over exactly how to download, install, and set up Forge for 1.19.2. It is worth noting our 1.19 video uh, didn't come out too long ago, but Minecraft updated, and that means our Forge video needs to update as well. We are here for you for every single version, so be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see how to do updates and all that stuff for all the different mods that are out there. Minecraft servers, Minecraft mods, it's all covered here. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Forge. First thing you want to do is go to the second link in the description down below. And that takes you here. This is our in-depth Forge tutorial for 1.19.2. It goes over everything you need to know to get Forge, even how to fix some issues along the way. But once you're here, click on the green Download Forge button to be taken to Forge's official download page. Now, once you're here, you want to make sure that the 1.19.2 version is selected. As you can see by default, it's not. 1.19 is. So we want to click on 1.19 on the left hand side and then click on 1.19.2. Once you do see MC 1.19.2 here, come under download latest and click the installer button. Automatically we'll be taken to add focus. We're stop! Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. The only thing that you want to do on this page is click the red skip button that appears in the top right after about 10 seconds. There it is. There's the red skip button in the top right. When you click on that red skip button, automatically in the bottom left, Forge is going to download. As you can see, there it is. As long as Forge is in the title, you're going to keep it in the bottom left of Google Chrome or save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. Before we move on though, how about a message from our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour modded Minecraft server. You can easily start a modded server at Apex. You can add your own mods if you want, but there are also over 200 mod packs with one-click installation. You can also add plugins to your server, and if you do have any issues with your server, Apex has 24 hours, seven day a week support right there to help you out. They also have amazing high quality hardware and overall are a great place to start a modded Minecraft server. So much so we host all of our Minecraft servers on Apex Minecraft Hosting. So go check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyc slash Apex is our very own server quickly and easily. Thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Nevertheless, once you've got your modded server, we can go ahead and download Forge. So moving on from there, we want to minimize our browser and we want to drag and drop Forge to our desktop. You can find Forge in your downloads folder. Just click the little Windows icon, top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. And yes, this tutorial fully works on Windows 11. When you click that Windows icon, type in Downloads. You have this Downloads file folder here. Open this up, and in here you will have Forge. Right there it is. I also have a, uh, another uh, mod in there. We can delete that. We don't need that. What we need is Forge. So go ahead and drag and drop Forge from your Downloads folder to your desktop, right like so. Now, if your Forge icon is different than mine, don't worry. Let's try to open Forge first. So let's go ahead and right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java. Well, if you don't have Java, or if your icon looks different than mine, you need download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required for modded Minecraft and guess what? Forge is basically what makes modded Minecraft happen. So because of that you need Java for Forge. This video goes over everything you need to know to get Java downloaded and installed for Forge. Super in-depth, amazing tutorial. Even goes over issues, all of that. So go check it out and get Java 17. Once you get Java 17, you may need to run the jar fix. What this is going to do is take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. After you get Java 17, Running the jar fix is actually what will fix your icons and make them look like this. Now though, we can install Forge. So go ahead, right click on Forge, click open with, click Java, and click OK. That's going to open up the mod system installer for Forge where all we need to do is click install client and click OK. It's going to download, install, do everything it needs to do to add Forge to Minecraft 1.19.2 what's happening right now. It's downloading everything. It's getting everything installed. The only reason this wouldn't work is if you've never played Minecraft 1.19.2 without new mods. If that's the case, go play Minecraft 1.19.2, come back, and this will work. You could also have an issue if you have Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher open when you're trying to install Forge. If that's the case, close out of both of those and then reopen up Forge, click the install button again, and you'll be good to go. Forge will successfully installed right like this. Once it has successfully installed, you'll get this pop-up, click OK, and it will close out of the Forge installer. You can actually delete Forge from your desktop as well. Now we need to open up the Minecraft launcher and it's time to open Minecraft with Forge. Now when you first open Minecraft, you will see this right here. This is the Forge profile. Most likely this is automatically selected. And if it is, then it says 1.19.2 dashboard under it. Click play and click play again. But if Forge isn't here, you want to click on this little drop down box here and select it in this list. But if Forge isn't in this list or it's not got the right version, 1.19.2 under it, click on installations. Make sure mod is checked. As you can see, you uncheck modded and Forge disappears. Click modded. There it is. Click play again. 
click play, boom, you're good to go. However, if you still don't have Forge or the correct version of Forge, click new installation. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it Forge 1.19.2. You can also change your icon. Do you know you can do this? It's kind of cool. Let's go, uh, let's go a lit furnace there. <laughs> Nevertheless, we've got Forge named. We then want to click the version dropdown box. This is the most important part, most important part of this entire process. Click this and make sure that you select release 1.19.2-forge. Right there it is for me. Yours may be higher up, it may be lower down. Scroll forward if you need to, but right there it is, release 1.19.2-forge. Select that, then change our resolution. You don't have to do this. I'm just doing that so you can see once we get in game. The most important part of this screen is making sure 1.19.2 is selected. Then click create in the bottom right. And we now have this Forge 1.19.2 profile that most importantly has 1.19.2-Forge as the version. Hover over this, click play, click play again. And finally, Minecraft will open up with Forge installed. Now here we are on the Minecraft main menu. As you can see, Forge is still in beta. We don't expect that to last too long for 1.19.2, but it is technically in beta. You can see in the bottom left, Forge is installed, all of that stuff. There's no doubting Forge is here. We can actually click on mods, and I do have uh, a few mods installed as well here. Boom, there they are. But if you want to know how to install mods, actually check out the video on your screen right now because that's how you can add mods to Minecraft using Forge. We go over how to find mods, how to get the correct version of mods, and obviously how to install those mods into Minecraft. So go check that video out. Nevertheless, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one, and I'm out. Peace.